What's going on everybody, Lone Gemini here, and welcome to my little walkthrough on how to build a nav card table and where to find the nav card in Buried. Same thing here guys, as Transit and Die Rise, nothing changes, you just gotta find all four pieces for the table and figure out where the build spot is. The build spot is always underneath the tower that will be, I don't know, I guess lit up for the Easter egg. So the tower on Buried is right where you start, and Maxis kind of lets you know that when you first start out, that the tower is right where you're at. Um, but the build spot for the table is right there in processing on the lowest level, I guess, of that first room. Um, but you cannot get to it without going through the entire map, so it's kind of a pain in the ass. The pieces for the table are right back here in the barn. Three of them are here, and the last piece is by the build spot itself. You have the radio, the board, and the circuit that are back here by the barn. Just go ahead. I'm going to show you how to build one of those pieces, and then you can go ahead and just come back to there, grab a piece, and head back to the build spot and throw those on there. Um, I'm not going to show you you know, me walking all the way back and then all the way to the build spot just to do that. That's kind of stupid. You kind of get the point. Um, but like I said, the meteor is sitting at the build spot. So just while you're over there at some point, pick it up and throw it on there as well. And that will throw the table together for you. So the best way to get to the fountain, which is the teleporter to get back to processing where you start, what you have to do is, I would suggest getting a melee weapon, either the bowie knife or the galv knuckles, obviously the only two melee weapons on the map. Um, but, yeah, I would suggest a melee weapon, that way you can deal with the ghost that's in the haunted house, um, whatever her name is, just, it's easiest to do that way, that way, because you will die if you don't have a weapon to deal with her. Um, but yeah, so what you will have to do is release Huckleberry, then you will have to, like I said, get into the haunted house. So you have to clear that debris. You also have to break the fountain that's on this side of the haunted house. The one in the maze, that fountain, you can break it with a ray gun, but it will not turn into a teleporter until you get Huckleberry to break the fountain that's by the courthouse and the candy shop. So it's got to be done that way in order to, I guess, turn on the teleporter or however that works, I guess. Um, but just make sure that you break the fountain before you go to the maze and try to shoot that with a ray gun. Um, hint, hint, you will have to have a ray gun in order to um, blow up the fountain that's in the maze behind the haunted house. I'm not sure if that's the only way to do it. You can either use the ray gun or the ray gun mark two. It doesn't matter as long as it's a ray gun. But so far, that seems to be the only weapon that I have gotten the fountain to blow up with. Um, you're willing to try other explosives, but I'm not 100% sure. So that's pretty much how to get the fountain in the maze broken. As you saw, all you have to do to break the one that's right here is to give Huckleberry some booze and he will run into it and break it down. Pretty simple stuff. Um, if you don't know how to get more bottles of booze, all you have to do is they either spawn in the bar or they spawn in the jail cell where he's at. If there is not one lying around, you will have to purchase one out of the bar through the cash register. That's pretty much how to get another one if you can't find it. It took me a couple spins, so I'm just gonna skip through all that crap, um, just for me to find the or to get the ray gun. So you will have to get the ray gun, and I would suggest doing that before going on into the haunted house, because since I have the fountain broken and I have access to the haunted house, all I have to do is go back there to where I can teleport. So it kind of just works out the fastest that way. So now I'm gonna run my ass through the house, and yes, this chick takes your points, so try not to let her hit you. Um, I always get fucked in here, so I just take it. I'm just like, whatever, I don't care. Um, I have plenty of points, so I'm not really too worried about it. It is going to be a pain in the ass to fill my bank back up, but, eh, whatever, that's what they're there for. Um, anyway, 
the maze does change back here so just keep searching around until you find the fountain in the middle once you do you can take out your ray gun and just shoot it um, I'm jumping around like an idiot but there you go the fountain breaks and you can drop into it if you don't hear the zombies spawning in this is just a hint the chick has not the ghost has not left yet and she will sneak up on you and steal your points so if you don't see zombies that means she's still hanging around um, I actually think yeah there's another one coming so anyway now that she's out of the way you can just jump through this thing and it will bring you right back where you start so what you have to do is the build spot is right over here go ahead and just throw on the first piece or whatever you have if you're playing multiplayer you can get this done in one shot just have everybody pick up a piece um, so yeah just go back down and pick up another piece like I said the meteor is the only one that is by the build table itself so just pick up the three pieces by the barn and there you go all four pieces are on the table um, like I said I think the die rise nav card goes in this table I obviously don't have that that's why it says incorrect nav card the one I have that's on the screen as you see is the buried nav card to find the buried nav card what you have to do is go into the back part of the house to get back to the other part of the western town um, it's right here sitting on the table or the bookcase not table um, it's sitting right there as you can see in solo they looks like the nav cards overlap now I'm not sure what's up with that because I have the transit nav card and the buried nav card at the same time okay so the buried nav card goes into the transit table so if you want to hop over there once you pick it up from buried you can do that the way this thing works with all the nav cards and all the nav card tables is that when you look on the map the color will coordinate with what side of the easter egg you have finished and the lightning slash radio sounds will be there once you have the correct nav card in the table on that map the way it goes is the transit nav card goes into the die rise table the die rise nav card goes into the buried table and the buried nav card goes into the transit table so it kind of just goes in a loop like that anyway guys that's how that goes and i hope you enjoyed this walkthrough and i hope it helped you as always it's been lone gemini and until next time